When trying to find fractions on a circle graph, this particular graph does not give you the fraction ahead of time. You have to figure it out by just looking at the graph. Well, when you look at it, one jumps out, the basketball in this case, because it is half of the circle, so one half of the students have voted for basketball as their favorite sport out of the 32 students that voted total, since 32 is the whole for what we're working with on this circle graph that is charted. I look at it, here is half of my circle for basketball. Next I can look at baseball, that's the next biggest, and I can see if I continue this line across to have equal sections, it's now broken into fourths. And this is one-fourth out of those sections. So that's baseball down here. The last are the football and hockey that are the same size and the smallest. Well, if I continue this line, and then I have to break these also into the same even sections, I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And both football and hockey are each one-eighth. What I can also know, out of the one, if I take my one-eighth and my one-eighth of the football and hockey and put it together, one-eighth plus one-eighth is two-eighths, which is the same size as one-fourth. So two-eighths is the same as one-fourth. Well, next, we have our fractions of the whole. Basketball is half, football is an eighth, hockey is an eighth, and baseball is a fourth. Well, what does that mean? What number of students is that out of the total of 32 students that voted? Well, that goes right back to finding the fraction of a set number. And our set number is 32 in this case. So we go right back to 1 half of 32, which is the same as doing 32, divided by the denominator of 2, which equals 16. So 16 students, or half of 32, voted for basketball. One-eighth of 32, or 32 divided by the denominator of eight. Four students voted for football, which means also for hockey, because they're both one-eighth. Last is one-fourth for baseball. So one-fourth of 32, or 32 divided by the denominator of four equals eight, eight students voted for baseball. To double check my work, I can add all of my answer students up, and if I get my total number that I'm working with of students voted of 32, then I'll know I'm correct. Four plus four is eight, eight plus eight is 16, 16 plus 16 is 32. So I know I got my correct total answer. For those of you that want to do the bonus question, and you can earn a spec buck tomorrow if you get this correct. Colin bought 48 baseball cards. He kept 5 eighths of the cards and gave the rest to his friends. How many cards did Colin give to his friends? If you bring back the answer and show your work and get it correct, you'll earn a spec buck.